Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Egypt has reached significant milestones in its digital transformation. The milestones include recent launches like the Digital Egypt platform, which aims at providing more than 130 digital government services to the citizens, in addition to cable landing stations in different governorates and international data center in Cairo, of course, so many initiatives in this regard. And to get more information uh, on this issue, we're joined over the phone by Mr. Mohammed Azem, board member of the International Association of Technology Management. Uh, Mr. Azem, a very good day to you. Uh, uh, good evening to you and to your respected uh, audience and viewers. Thank you very much. Sir, how do you perceive the latest developments uh, when it comes to digital transformation in Egypt? Uh, uh, actually, uh, digital transformation is on the top of uh, the, the Egyptian uh, uh, state agenda. Uh, actually, President Sisi mentioned that so many times. Uh, it's part of... Uh, uh, and it's included in every pillar... Uh, so, uh, 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 the whole transformation of uh, so many sectors uh, on economic and social level uh, using the technology to a great extent. So, um, uh, Egypt is uh, progressing in this uh, file, and uh, I think we are uh, doing uh, international. Uh, that, uh, I mentioned that Egypt has been advanced uh, on the ladder of digital transformation, and uh, I can recall um, a recent report by the World Bank of November uh, mentioned that Egypt is converting uh, from or moving from uh, the uh, digital transformation domain to the government tech domain, which a higher level of the digital transformation. It's uh, that means uh, the dev tech. Uh, it's more advanced, uh, more uh, citizen-centric, more citizen-centric uh, approach of conducting uh, services uh, and offering to the citizens and uh, the small and medium business as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Azim, uh, what are the main sectors that the country is trying to automate within the plan of uh, Egypt's digital transformation? What are the main uh, sectors? The sectors, including the health sector, and we've seen a lot of initiatives in the health sector that, uh, yes. for transforming to, to a smart, more clean, more uh, resilient, and more sustainable uh, uh, healthcare system. We've seen a uh, lot of uh, uh, recent initiatives in this regard. We are moving also in the direction of utilization uh, of more technology in the domain of agriculture using this agriculture techniques, using the precision agriculture techniques to improve the and of course to preserve resources. We've seen this in the education sector. Uh, no, we have been having uh, the, uh, the Egyptian Knowledge Bank, which is the largest that is on the planet and it's all free for Egyptians. In the using uh, smarter tools within the classrooms and um, with uh, education, within the education system, including the smart uh, the smart uh, boards. Uh, and so we, we've seen this in, in the manufacturing sectors. Uh, and we've seen this in the, uh, in the, 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 the largest uh, pharmaceutical city that has been mm. uh, interrogated last year, and it's utilizing the maximum level of technology as per the fourth industrial revolution. So uh, with so many uh, sectors, and of course the financial sector is, is progressing a lot in, in this regard, and we've seen uh, more uh, consumption or more utilization of the mobile wallets. We, we've seen this in uh, the financial inclusion uh, through uh, the banking sector, using the mobile bank. Mm -hmm. Mr. Azim, uh, what potential does Egypt has uh, when it comes to the Egyptian market for robust tech-based financial solutions industry, in your own opinion? 
I believe we lost uh, Mr. Mohammed Azem uh, over uh, technical issues, but I'd like to thank you very much, Mr. Mohammed Azem, board member of International Association of Technology Management. Um, uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs> 